Welcome back. We are gonna start insulating the ceiling today. Now that we have the roof on, we don't have to worry about any of that stuff anymore. So our goal now is to just get this room to vapor barrier, and then we can put the door in its new spot. Then we'll have that open, but this area will be easy enough to keep clean because it's gonna be just plastic on the walls and it's gonna be insulated. So it'll keep the heat in, we won't lose anything by having that door, the existing door as an open space. And so the way that we're gonna be insulating today is pretty unconventional. Inconventional, unconventional. Yeah, unconventional. So we're gonna be putting some repurposed polyiso rigid foam, three inches of it up in the ceiling, like we did in our original house build. If, if some of you will remember that, some of you weren't around for that. So we're gonna put three inch polyiso um, rigid foam, foam, and then we're going to put um, some fiberglass on t underneath that and then hold it up with like plastic or something until we get the, the vapor barrier on. But it gives us the opportunity to have a vented roof system and a higher R value than just using fiberglass. So that's why we're doing it this way. And it's free. And it's free, yeah, repurposed. Yeah. Right to the bottom of that blocking. Yeah, like that. Okay, so that says 94. It says 93 and a half, actually. That's what we're gonna do. So 93 and a half. So what we're doing with these blocks is we've already got some installed up in the rafters and that is going to hold the rigid insulation from hitting the roof deck. So there's going to be 
a gap for the airflow, and then we're just using another set of blocks to hold the foam in place um, so that it's not falling out. And yeah, it's working pretty well, aside from the little fiddly cuts and stuff we have to make trying to get it to fit. There's a real reason why most people use not rigid insulation <laughs> in their ceiling. Yes. It's frustrating. Okay, so we've got the rigid insulation in. Um, I think I might spray foam some gaps because there's a few gaps and then we're also putting the fiberglass insulation in as well, but I want to make sure <clears throat> we get the best of our value as possible. And while I'm doing that, Greg is setting up a pipe for our Starlink cable to come down. We've got a gap in the metal at the wall here that goes in that is ventilation for the roof so the pipe is gonna come up and have a little hook in it i guess so the cable can go up and then down through the wall into the ceiling and then <clears throat> we'll be able to have a little cable cable wall hole sort of thing we can have our internet in the boot room Uh, it's not great because this can needs to be upside down. Yeah. So I'm not going to be able to get all the spray foam out of the can, but. The most important things we can do for ourselves is keep our bodies in good health. 
It's not a complicated process, it just takes a little bit of discipline and some good habits. One of the easiest ways that we take control of our health is by making AG1 a daily habit. AG1 is a daily foundational nutritional supplement that supports whole body health. Katie and I have been drinking AG1 for many years now and really it gives us the energy boost that we need to continue cranking out projects on our property. We actually recommend AG1 to all of our friends and family and both of our moms are daily drinkers of AG1. They've noticed improvements in their mental clarity, concentration, how they manage stress throughout their work days, as well as a boost in energy and more sustained energy throughout their day. Greg and I never compromise on our health. We raise our own meat, we grow our own vegetables, and we've made AG1 a daily staple in our diet because we are not willing to cut corners when it comes to our health and what we put in our bodies. We know that AG1 checks all the boxes when it comes to quality and safety, which is why we make it a morning staple. We want you to be able to experience all of the health benefits our whole family has enjoyed. Head to the link in our description or scan the QR code on the screen to get a bottle of vitamin D3 and K2 and five AG1 travel packs free with your first subscription. And big thanks to AG1 for not only supporting our health, but supporting our channel. So there are going to be a lot of changes in here today. We are hoping we can get to the point where we can move our door to the front of the boot room because the boot room is actually going to be an open space. We're not gonna have two doors. The boot room is gonna be heated from the inside of the house it's gonna be a part of the inside of the house. It's obviously going to be an afterthought. You can kind of see it. We've got this window. I'm not gonna turn the camera, but it's right there. It's in the stairwell, kind of going into the addition. It is what it is. Lots coming of, out. It's coming out. Um, so there's lots of people who do this kind of thing and it's, it is what it is. But we're gonna get the insulation finished in the ceiling today. We're gonna to get the vapor barrier on today. Um, off camera, I put our little Studer vent in, so all of all the uh, um, plumbing is now finished as far as in here goes. And we're gonna get that door moved from there to there. And with this will be an interior space by the end of the day. So we're gonna get busy, because this is a lot of work. Please just stick, just stay. Uh, there's no way, eh? Yeah, there's no way. This is going to be, I remember how fun this job was before. Once I once I get this off, I'll adjust it. I think I'm gonna need three. Things just not coming in. Oh, that's all right. I'm gonna have to just do a better job. Yeah, that's better.
So we've run out of insulation and we need to go to town a little bit later on. We don't really want to go right now. It's a little too early. So we're going to start getting the vapor barrier. Well, we can do all the walls and then half of the ceiling. And then when we go into town later, we can get another pack of insulation. We really didn't want to get another pack because we're not going to use the whole pack, but we need more. So <laughs> what else can we do? Um, I'll try to go around. That'd be interesting to see if there's any moisture because it's been exposed for years. Do the tie that goes in the blue skin. <laughs> no, we were experimenting because we didn't know. No, on the new windows. No, we didn't. Now we're showing my embarrassing gap that I tried to hide. <laughs>
Okay, we've got the ceiling fully insulated now. We had to use little plastic straps up there so that the insulation didn't fall down. But we are going to get the vapor barrier up there now. We've got the walls all finished in here. I think we should be able to get this door moved over today. Okay, so we've got all of the vapor barrier on now. Nice and tight, no gaps, no cuts. It's good. We're gonna move on to getting the door in. Now I've put some half inch pieces of plywood in here because we don't have any drywall here right now. Um, but I need the door to line up to the drywall so that I can trim it out right on the inside and then I can trim it out, out properly on the outside. So this door here has been in here for a while. I got spray foam and shims and caulking and nail, I mean, and screws holding this in. Expecting it to be a bit of a, uh, a workout to get this pulled out. So here goes nothing. bottom look like? I don't think it's really moving. <laughs> it's not. You know what? We got to tilt it backwards. 
And I got this piece of wood that's so tight right here. I think we cocked it down. Oh. Yeah, I can feel copper. Okay, well. But I'm getting it up. Okay, well you keep doing that. The thing is, we gotta have this like this in order for you to, to jack it up. through caulking? No. I Which is fine. That is now 100%. got the door in almost we uh, need some shims some larger shims than the ones from the store so Greg is just making uh, some blocks to put in there to secure it a bit more but we've got it kind of leveled in the wall and we're just doing the last little kind of finer details with that to try and get it to close properly so we're getting pretty close we did forget to buy the door and window spray foam. We have some big gap filler, but I don't think we want to use that because it might expand too much and put too much pressure on the frame. But we do have backer rod, so we can put that in to kind of seal it up for the night. And then, uh, yeah, I really like this. It looks, looks good having this open to the house. Might see if we can make this opening bigger and uh, get it trimmed out soon, hopefully. Ah, I don't have that thing in yet. Oh. <laughs> that was done. <laughs> 